All right, I'm here with a um, video that I've probably put off for way too long, but it's an updated look at my Nintendo 64 collection, uh, which is, I believe, my largest collection at the moment. Um, not sure about the how, how big it is, but I know it's my largest collection at the moment. I'm going for the complete N64 set, uh, probably about halfway there. Um, I'll, and uh, it's been an enjoyable one. I'm going to go through all these games and give some thoughts or where I picked them up and everything. Um, and if I don't have anything to say about a game, it's probably because I haven't played it or I don't really have an opinion about it. Uh, when you go for a complete set, there's bound to be a bunch of games that you don't have interest in playing. Um, but that's just the way it is. And uh, I'll get right into it. Goldeneye. Um... I'm starting with my box games first, and then I'll go into my loose games. Box games are in alphabetical order for the most part. Um, the loose games will not be. Uh, Goldeneye, a classic. A classic game. Uh, also, 007 A World Is Not Enough, which uh, is, you know, not Goldeneye. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't have, you know, the place in everyone's heart that GoldenEye has, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, it has bots in the multiplayer, which is uh, kind of a big oversight that GoldenEye didn't have, but, you know, it's not made by Rareware, so, and not published by Nintendo, so it's not, you know, it's not the classic GoldenEye is. 1080 Snowboarding. A lot of people ask where I get um, my boxed games. The answer is uh, my local retro game chain, The Exchange, always gets boxed games, always has boxed games in. It, and usually, a lot of the time, they'll price them pretty real, pretty well, uh, usually sometimes even for the price of, like, the loose cart games. So I'll end up getting, you know, I'll pick up anything in the box under $10, basically. And if it's a sports game, I'll usually, I'll do it for five and under but any I mean I picked up a lot of good stuff for like eight bucks at the exchange in the box like this is one of them a bug's life um, but yeah I mean I just also if you have the cart and manual or this the cart for games try looking up box and manual on eBay that's getting a little expensive that's the way I used to do it for a long time uh, and be able to complete games pretty cheap but that's starting to get a little expensive now uh, arrow fighters assault 18 Chronicles, the first mage. This game's a piece of crap. Um, <laughs> this game's really bad. The music is like abysmal and it crashes all the time. Uh, it's like a really... Uh, this is a game I don't know why people don't talk about it more. Uh, it's one of the only RPGs on the system. And uh, it's garbage. Like, that's a it's a funny game of just... It's bad. It's a bad game. Armorines, Project Swarm. It's a little uh, sun faded there. It was a former... Rental display. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, funny story about this copy of Banjo Kazooie. On my last N64 collection video from, oh, who knows, 2014, I think, I was showing this. And um, one day I was just, you know, browsing YouTube and uh, Video Game Donkey did a Banjo Kazooie, uh, Banjo Kazooie review. And he uses that clip from my video at the beginning of his video of me showing this box copy of Banjo Kazooie. Um, yeah, it's his Banjo Kazooie Dunk View. Uh, Dunky's one of my favorite YouTubers, so it's just funny to me that I make he uses part a tiny part of my video to um, in his video. So yeah, check that out. It's kind of funny. It's right at the beginning. He 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 talks about Banjo Kazooie, and it's me showing my copy with my old uh, game setup in the back. So it's fun. Uh, Banjo Tooie. I'm not sure which one I like better. Uh, they're 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 pretty different. Um, they're pretty different games, uh, but I don't know. They're both real fun. Uh, Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker. Bomberman '64. Bomberman's great. Um, Bomberman is just a lot of fun. I I like. I mean, Bomberman games for the most part are wildly the same or you you know usually the same but i don't know bomberman's a lot of fun uh bomberman hero i don't have bomberman second attack that would one, be one i i'm looking for but that game's uh, you know one of the more expensive games on the system uh beetle adventure racing 
which I, I like that game. It's it's a fun game. That's uh, probably one of my favorite race uh, racing games on the 64. Probably besides like Mario Kart and all that. It's probably my favorite racing game. Uh, California Speed. I got that the box for it from my uh, cousin. He gave me a bunch of 64 and Super Nintendo boxes. Uh, Castlevania. This game is pretty bad too. <laughs> Castlevania is uh, real bad. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Um, I like Conquer's Bad Fur Day a lot. Uh, one of my favorite 64 games. Uh, a lot of fun. Funny game. I I, I think it's uh, more enjoyable than the Xbox version. I've never really actually played the Xbox version, but I don't know. Uh, I think, you know, you can't go wrong with the classic. Cruising USA. Cruising games. These are pretty, pretty decent arcade racers. Uh, Cruising World. Diddy Kong Racing. I, a lot of people... I don't know, I like Diddy Kong Racing, but I don't think... I mean, everyone's like, man, this is the best racing game ever. I don't, I don't know if it's that much that good. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, I think, is uh, where it, the rare collective thon got... It, it was too much. Uh, way too much crap to collect. Uh, not quite as enjoyable as the Banjo games. But, you know, it's still alright. The music's great. Uh, that's probably the best part of that game. Dr. Mario 64. I got this on my trip to Con Bravo when I was there in 2015. Excite Bike 64. Nothing too exciting there. Extreme G. F1 World Grand Prix. There is a sequel to this game that we never got in the United States, but it came out in uh, PAL territories, I believe. Flying Dragon. Uh, I just got this re pretty recently. I've never tr checked it out. Um, looks just like a fighting game, but uh, it definitely looks like a game of its era. Forsaken 64, which is some of the crappiest box art. My goodness. Uh, the best game of all time, Golden Nugget 64. Uh, that's the best 64 game if, um, ever. Indie Racing 2000. I didn't know there was a sticker on there. You know, probably not worth trying to get it off. Jet Force Gemini. I'm not a big fan of this one. I don't know. I like... I'm trying to get all the Rareware games. There's only a few I'm missing. I'm missing, like, Blast... On the 64, that is. I'm missing Blast Core and um, Killer Instinct and... There, I, there has to be something else, but I can't think of it at the moment. But I'm not a big fan of Jet Force Gemini. I don't know. It hasn't aged very well. Kirby 64. Uh, I like Kirby 64 a lot. Uh, one of the better Kirby platformers. Uh, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, NBA Courtside. Nothing to say there. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I do not have Ocarina of Time in the box. Uh, that's probably my most wanted 64 game at the moment. I want to get that collector's edition one that with the gold cart and everything like that. Uh, Lego Racers. A uh, decent kart racer. I mean, there's better kart racers on the 64, but... Um, it's all right. Madden 64. Oh, if, if I, I, I didn't say anything, but it should probably be obvious that all these are in box protectors. That's why they look um, so shiny. <laughs> uh, Major League Baseball starring Ken Griffey Jr. Um, where am I? M's. Okay. I have like three whole stacks I haven't gotten through yet. <laughs> um, Mario Party. Uh, the first Mario Party... It's my least favorite of the 64 ones, just because of all those uh, crappy mini-games where you have to s spin the stick that they had to give the gloves out because people were hurting themselves. It's ridiculous. Um, Mario Kart 64. Uh, Mario Kart 64 is still fun, but, I mean, pretty much every other Mario Kart game except the GBA one uh, is way, way better. <laughs> Mario Tennis. Uh, the, the introduction of the best Mario character, Waluigi, in that one. Uh, Mega Man 64, uh, just a port of Mega Man Legends with, I think, some additional stuff. But uh, Mega Man 64, I mean, you can't go wrong. Mickey's USA Speedway, or Mickey's Speedway USA, I guess it is. Um, another Rareware title. And uh, I tried it out. It's a, just a kart racer. I mean, there's a million of them. It's all right. Midway Arcade's Greatest Hits Volume 1, a uh, collection of old... Midway arcade games. When you think old arcade games, you don't really 
often think about Midway stuff. I mean, they have Defender and stuff and stuff like that, but I don't know. Midway is not really one of those prolific one arcade uh, game developers that you really think of. Uh, Mission Impossible, just a movie tie-in game. It really is aged poorly. It's not great. This game is terrible. Uh, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero. That game is awful. Namco Museum. Um, collection of Namco games. I'm pretty sure there's a Namco Museum with pretty much the same <laughs> set of games on every system under the sun. Uh, NASCAR 99. Real exciting there. NHL Breakaway 98. Real exciting there. Perfect Dark. Uh, I like Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark, uh, especially the Xbox re-release of it where the frame rate isn't atrocious. Um, Perfect Dark's a real solid first-person shooter. Uh, probably my favorite first-person shooter. I'm not a huge fan of the genre, but uh, it's up there. I like that game a lot. Pokemon Snap. A, a fun, simple game. Uh, I can't believe they didn't make one for the Wii U. Uh, they, they had Or the 3DS. They had the perfect system for it, and they didn't do it. Quest 64, another one of the only RPGs on the system. Uh, this game is pretty crap. <laughs> this is a trend with the 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 the, the uh, 64 RPGs that I have in the boxes. They're both crap. Resident Evil 2, a pretty impressive port of Resident Evil 2 to the uh, the 64, considering that you know Resident Evil 2 was on the the PS1 and with two discs. Uh, this is a pretty impressive port. The cutscenes have taken a big hit in resolution. Um, they look really, really compressed, but I mean, a pretty good port of Resident Evil 2. Uh, real, real impressive. Uh, if you're going to play it, I'd say still play it on the PS1, but it's a real impressive that they could get it on that cartridge. Uh, Road Rash 64. Uh, Road Rash game. <laughs> They're all pretty similar. That The 64 one's alright, but I mean, the graphics are 64 graphics, so I mean, they have not aged well at all. Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. Never played it. <laughs> Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers. Shadow Man. Um, it's a real weird game. Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo. Uh, got a lot of Star Wars here. I think I, I have all the Star Wars games in the box now on the 64. Episode One: Racer, which... Um, Episode 1 Racer is fun, and it's super cheap. If you like have a 64 and don't want to pay a whole lot of games, you can get Episode 1 Racer for like a couple bucks, and it's a pretty fun game. Um, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, that's another pretty good one that you can get for cheap. And uh, Shadows of the Empire. I don't like Shadows of the Empire. Uh, the first stage is cool, and everyone thinks, man, that first stage is cool, which, yeah, it is. But you put, if you get anywhere else in the rest of this game, it is not so hot. It's aged really poorly. Um, it is not too good. Tetrisphere. Uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I've never been too good at the Tony Hawk games. Um, never been really my thing. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Um... I think that, you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is, you know, probably better on the Dreamcast, if anything, than than on the 64. Top Gear Hyperbike. Top Gear Rally. Turok Seeds of Evil. Turok 2, or Turok Rage Wars. Oh, that's Turok 2 Se Seeds of Evil. Yeah. Uh, the Turok games have not aged well at all. Um, real foggy looking games. Um, Ch Wailea Championship Golf. Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey. <laughs> One day we'll get to an interesting game. Um, Mayhem. A lot of uh, wrestling games on the 64. A lot of people like wrestling games. I've never been into wrestling, so the games don't uh, do it for me. Uh, Revenge. Uh, WCW versus NWO World Tour. Yeah, wrestling has never been my thing, so those games do not do it to, for me. Um, win back cover operations, which, you know, a 64 game that has not aged well. Who would have guessed? 
uh, Wipeout 64, which is fun. I like the the Wipeout games, it's, you know, real fast racing type games. Um, WF Warzone or WWF Warzone. Yoshi Story, which I don't know. I'm not crazy about Yoshi Story. It's all right, but I don't know. Coming off of like Yoshi's Island, which is a really great game, into this is not not so hot. Uh, some bigger boxed games. Um, hey, you Pikachu, which uh, is this has all the stuff in it, all the stupid microphone and all that crap. Uh, hey, you Pikachu is um, not a good game, but it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Uh, I got this for like eight bucks at the box at the exchange way back in the day. And um, Star Fox 64, which a classic. Uh, I don't think they've ever really. Nailed Star Fox again like they did in um, Star Fox 64. And then my last one here, uh, one of my uh, one of the coolest things I have is uh, a box copy of uh, Domatsu <laughs> Dobatsu no Mori, or um, which I didn't pronounce right, I'm sure, uh, or Animal Crossing on the N64 um, from Japan. I got this for like 15 bucks at a, a convention a few years back, and I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. It's a real nice shape, has everything in it. Uh, yeah, I think it's neat. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan, so it's great to have that. I'm going to switch over to cartridge games now that I have, and I'm going to put all these box games back so you have something to look look at in the background. All right, I'm back now. Um, got all the, the games back, so the, the background's a little bit more interesting, and I'm going to be uh, going through my loose cart games. Uh, these are in no predict particular order. Uh, one of the boxes I have is all the games that I actually play and all the good ones. The rest of them are just kind of whatever games. So I'll just keep going to go through them. Hybrid Heaven. NASCAR 2000. Triple Play 2000. Uh, Doom 64, which is uh, alright. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold. I don't know, Killer Instinct's never done it for me. I, I mean, I mean I'm, a rare, I'm a rare fan, but Killer Instinct... I'm not a big fighting fan in general. Um, base, I mean, but yeah, Killer Instinct's never done it for me. Ridge Racer 64, which Ridge Racer's fun. I like the they're pretty good arcadey racing games. Uh, Paper Boy, this Paper Boy on 64 is um, <laughs> it's uh, something alright. Uh, Pokemon Puzzle League, which is exactly what it sounds. It's kind of interesting. They have like um, anime cutscenes on it, which is kind of neat. You didn't really see a whole lot of stuff like that on um, 64 carts, but I mean, the contents of Pokemon Puzzle Trainer, I'm sure, or Puzzle League is not really taking up too much space on the cart. Uh, Quake 2, there was a lot of um, just weird, random PC ports that made it over to the 64 for who knows whatever reason. Uh, Bassmasters 2000, you know, I'm always playing that one. Uh, Madden 2001, <laughs> Three uh, blue cartridges in a row. Hydro Thunder. Oh, there we go. I always, it's always interesting to me on the, the games that are just, for some reason, a different color. Like, why is Madden 2001 blue? Who knows? I don't know. Uh, that's one box done. Continuing on here. Um, Mia Ham Soccer 64. Power Rangers Rescue. Got to get a, a label upgrade on this one. Uh, Monster Truck Madness 64, uh, Rockstar game. Before, you know, they got big. Yeah, let me get these. NBA Live 2000. Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, which, who knows. Uh, the best game on the 64, Superman 64. Uh, WrestleMania 2000. Uh, no Mercy. Do I have No Mercy Complete? No, I have Revenge Complete. I'm like, do I have that one already? Uh, South Park, which uh, this game is <laughs> pretty rough. The most interesting looking game of all time, Virtual Pool. I mean, you, you get what you, you ask for, but man, that cover art's boring. Uh, FIFA Soccer 64. Supercross 2000. Wave Race 64, which I don't, I never get all the people that are like, we need a new Wave Race game. Oh man, it's like, I don't know, Wave Race is alright, but I don't. 
Um, Ocarina of Time, just a great card. I'd like to get a gold card for that, but uh, just a great card for now. Ocarina of Time, of course, a great game uh, that has aged incredibly well. Uh, I'd say the best way to play it, though, is the 3DS remake. But, you know, Ocarina of Time has aged incredibly well for a 64 game, one of my favorite games on the system, that Majora's Mask. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, Gretzky's Hockey, 98. Uh, I have Wayne Gretzky. Do I have that one complete? That's his 3D hockey. Okay. I'm like, man. Uh, Blast Core. One of the classic rare titles on there. I have the box for that, actually. But it was a former rental display. And it is the sun faded as all can be. Um, I mean, you can't even barely see that there was ever color on it in the first place. Um, I keep a lot of my 64, I have those big drawers that say Nintendo 64 on them, but I keep a lot of them in these little cases from Ikea, um, that hold a, quite a few games in it, uh, it works out pretty nicely. Uh, so this is my games of, that I actually, you know, play regularly. Um, All-Star Tennis 99, that's not one of them, I, that's just in there. Man, it's always turned the wrong, the wrong way. Madden 2002 is also not one of them. That's just in there. I got <laughs> Snowboard Kids um, and Snowboard Kids 2, which I found at a garage sale last year on Memorial Day weekend and got them these both for uh, four bucks each, which was not bad at all. Paper Mario, which is uh, my favorite 64 game. Uh, the first Paper Mario, I don't. I'm in the weird club that I like the first Paper Mario better than any of the other ones, but I know a lot of people like uh, Thousand Year Door better, but man, the first Paper Mario game's great. Uh, F-Zero X, which is a fun game. It also runs at uh, 60 frames per second, which is uh, cr crazy for a 64 game. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, which was a blockbuster rental exclusive, and you could buy it on um, you could buy it on the LucasArts website, so uh, this game's pretty hard to get in the box. I was an idiot, like, oh, years ago. And there was a copy of it in the box with the strategy guide as well. And it was like 30 bucks or something. I was like at a convention and I'm like, oh, should I buy that? And uh, that, that's one of my biggest regrets of stuff I, of, oh, I didn't buy that because now, you know, that that's extremely hard to find box. And I don't know why I didn't get it while it was cheap. Uh, Mario Golf, which is exactly what you'd think it was. Uh, Super Mario 64, the, a classic. Uh, Mario 64 is great. And it still holds up reasonably well. There's some levels that hold up better than others, but you know, Mario 64 is a classic and it still held, holds up um, pretty good. Although, I gotta say, it, Mario Sunshine is a, the better game. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, which uh, is, is neat. To I mean, I did not play it in the time it came out, but I'm mean, sure it was neat to see all the Pokemon characters in 3D for the first time and all that. All right, well, no, Snap came out first, but I mean, it's a battle like that. I'm sure it was interesting. Um, Arrow Gauge, which I, I don't actually, this is not one of the games that um, I play commonly. It's just in there. Uh, Carmageddon 64, which is a harder game to find. I got that in a trade um, for a bunch of Commodore stuff that I got for free at a garage sale. So that worked out nicely. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, a, a Goodwill find. Um, I got a huge, great haul of Goodwill, or 64 games at the Goodwill, um, but before I started doing videos, and it was, uh, that was in there, it was one of them, and that was a good find. But yeah, I use these little, I use these, um, Ikea boxes, and they hold a lot of games like that. Uh, ideally when I finish the set, I'll have room to, uh, get those, those vinyl labels you put on the side, and, um, display them, but right now, I don't have that much room. So, th this will have to do. Alright, moving into my 64 drawers, um, which there's not too much great in here. Um, a really rough copy of XG2. <laughs> I got this for like a quarter though, so it's, it's rough. That needs a label upgrade. Uh, NFL Quarterback Club 2001. Turok Dinosaur Hunter, the first Turok, Turok game. Um, I always love that weird contest. I believe it was for Turok 2, where like you got a free copy of the game or whatever if you name your child Turok. Uh, something weird like that. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how many kids out there are named Turok because of that. Ken Griffey Jr.'s Slugfest. Uh, FIFA 98, Road to the World Cup. 
F1 pole position 64. There's a lot, a lot of to say about some of these games here. I mean, you know, nothing really interesting to say about FIFA 98 or NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC, um, All Star Baseball 2000, Nagano Winter Olympics 98, the one of the best games ever. NBA Live 99, man, that's just a good one. Um, Knockout Kings 2000, I live for that game. Man. Um, NBA Jam 99. I don't know how the NBA Jams are um, on the, the 64, if they're any good. I mean, the, everyone... Originally, the NBA Jam, you know, on the Genesis and Super Nintendo is a classic. I don't know how the 64 one was. Madden 99. I know I have... Do I have that complete? I have Madden 64. Do I... Someone look back through this video. Do I have two copies of Madden 99 somewhere? Uh, WWF Attitude... Because some of these games, I might have two of them on accident. They didn't get put in my spreadsheet right. So <laughs> if someone catches that, please tell me. Because some of the sports games aren't too interesting to go through. Um, NFL Blitz 2001. Quarterback Club 99. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Uh, Rainbow Six, which is a pretty poor port of... Um, Rainbow Six. I mean, it's a classic PC game and everything. Uh, the Dreamcast port's pretty, pretty fair, but I mean, the 64 and and uh, PS1 ports are not quite up to snuff. Uh, quarterback Club 98, All Star Baseball 99. Did I have another copy of that too? I don't know. This video is a disaster. Uh, Off Road Challenge. If you make it this far in the video, please. Um, I don't even know. Please leave a comment. You, you get a pat on the back for this. Uh, NFL Blitz. Fox College Hoops. For, I just spotted this one. Another Madden 64. So that... I have one less game now in the there because I have a box copy right behind me. Or right in front of me, I guess. Um, so I'll have to take that one out of there. I don't need two copies of Madden 64. I have to... Put that into my uh, trade credit box. Get rid of that. All right, moving on. We're, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, uh, International Superstar Stalker 98. World Driver Championship. Um, Blues Brothers 60 or Blues Brothers 2000. Uh, this game is so bad, it's hilariously bad. Um, it's made by Titus, of course, of Superman 64 fame. Uh, if you like bad games, check that one out, because it is legendarily bad. Nuclear Strike 64. War God 64. I, I've never actually played this. Is this decent? Because I see it all the time. I don't know if anyone actually cares about it. Dark Rift. Uh, Automobili Lamborghini, which is another Titus game, so I'm sure that one's probably not so great. Uh, In the Zone 98. Toy Story 2. Uh, All-Star Baseball 2001. Disney's Tarzan. Madden 2000. We're reaching the end here. FIFA 99. Fighter's Destiny. Two more. Are they going to be great? Are they going to be super interesting? Um, International Superstar six, Soccer 64? No. And uh, Tonic Trouble, which I like this. This this cover art's fun. I don't. I haven't tried this game out. I think it's a platformer. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, but yeah, that's it. My uh, 64 collection. You made it through to the end. Uh, I'm going to check my my. I'll check my. Um, analytics to see if anyone made it through the to the end of this um <laughs> i don't know uh yeah i know the box games i think is more interesting than going through every loose cart especially when you're going through a a uh, complete if you're set there's gonna bound to be a lot of uninteresting games but thanks for sticking to the end um i wanted to make a quick announcement i made oops <laughs> i made an instagram account um i'll probably just kind of start posting collection related pictures over there uh, maybe a big, if I get a, some garage sale hauls, I'll take pictures of them before they, they, I, sh you know, give the story and how much I paid and, you know, everything like that. 
at um, on my pickup videos and all that. So uh, yeah, follow that. It's at Objo Gaming over on Instagram. And uh, I just started it up. I, my first picture is just of my Box 64 set. Uh, so yeah, um, make sure to follow me on there. You can, there's my my Twitter. You can always follow me on. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, making it to the end. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment with some of your favorite N64 games. And I will uh, see you next time.